Bip. All right, uh, oh, here we go. I'm gonna issue three beers from Okinawa where I live at the moment. I just live down the road actually from both of these breweries. Yeah, one's the main one, of course, the Orion Brewery, which is owned by Asahi, which is the big brewery here in Okinawa. There's also another one that I've got here is the Helios uh, Brewery and Distillery. So it's just down the road. Um, yeah, very interesting things. And I'm just gonna show you a bit of what I'm drinking at the moment because, hey, I thought that's quite a good idea. I'm still not quite 100% back into the training, so I thought, let's talk about some beers. Let's have a look at some beers. And I thought I'd show you some. Anyway, first one. Yep, it's the premium craft beer, the Porter. Yes. And this is from the Helios Brewery, which also does Aomori, also does whiskey, also does rum, does a bit of everything, which is nice. It's a premium craft beer. It is 5% and it's a porter. I like porters, I really do. It's got a cool can, as you saw before. It's quite well designed. They do a lot of craft beers. I can't find them at the moment, even in Okinawa here. And it takes a little bit to find them, but today I'm gonna put it in the Fuji glass, of course, to start off. I'm gonna have a look at it and have a wee taste. Beautiful, beautiful color. Black, beautiful. And a brownie black, actually, for a porter. Normally I like them black here as well. I'm gonna have a wee taste, of course. No buffalo. Ooh, oh, I do like that. Yes, I do like that. 5%, so it's not too full on. It's very easy to drink. Um, good flavor, chocolatey, coffee, all those really rich uh, flavors that you do get with a porter. Yeah, I could probably drink maybe two or three of these quite happily. Um, it's not a lager, you're not gonna drink a lot of it, but even in this hot environment, I guess probably why they did it only 5%, not stronger like the other porters can be. It's very nice. I do like a porter more than a stout. I do like stouts, but I have to admit, I probably got a porter in, in Okinawa with the climate. So yeah, that is that. That's the first one. Beautiful. If you can find it, don't know if you can find it. Might be just here. Yeah, I think, yeah, Helios. I'll, I'll put a link down the bottom and you can probably find it on Amazon. I don't know. Definitely overseas you won't be able to find this. But if, hey, if you come to Japan in the near future in Okinawa, I'm probably gonna start something like a, a, a bit of a tour or something, and there you go. You've heard it, heard, heard it here first. Probably gonna do a few alcohol tours or something like that. So keep it in, yeah, keep keep in touch. Keep posted on this channel. You just never know what might pop up. And if you ever come to Okina, which I hope you do, mm, come and enjoy some of the beers and uh, other sites around. Next, next. I'm going to this one. I think you can probably get this on the mainland. And it is the IPA from Orion Breweries. And it's the Okinawa Craft Premium Series. There you go. And it's got the 7.5 here, which is na go uh, in Japanese. And it's cool. I like it. I'm living in the city. It's cool to buy a beer that has the city's name. I think you go there anywhere. Like if I'm in Hawke's Bay, I'd probably drink a bit of Hawke's Bay Bitter or Hawke's Bay Draft. Anyway, let's have a bloody try and have a look. And it is, of course, if you look, can you see it? Come on, focus on it. It is the Teikoku Hotel, hotel in Tokyo, a very famous hotel. And this is one of the glasses that they have. Fancy, I tell you. Anyway, let's have a look. Look at That's an IPA, look at the color on that. Beautiful. Looks like an IPA, doesn't it? Six percent. Let's have a taste. Mm. Wow, citrus, straight away. Uh, the Shikuasa, uh, it's like a lime, I guess, a tropical lime that we have here in Okinawa, uh, native to Okinawa, I think. <laughs> Don't quote me on that, but yeah, it's very much uh, popular here. Shikuasa, let's have a try. Oh, yeah, 
fruity. Now this, this is perfect for Okinawa. Uh, IPA is a nice hot day. After a nice hot day, it's bang on, to be honest. Oh yeah, I like that. I'd recommend this. I think I've got a link down there uh, to buy this as well. I don't know about overseas. You might be able to get it. I don't know. These guys are made, these are Asahi uh, owned uh, company. But I don't know. They still are quite independent from Asahi in that respect. Uh, but yeah, it's a bang on beer. Ooh, 6% too. It's not, it's, it's still quite, I don't know. It's light for an IPA. You can get more heavy IPAs, but I quite like this. It's still got a bit of punch to it. Yeah. Cheers, IPA. Woo! Next. Jajan, this one. This one is Sui Beer. And this is a special beer because it's an amber ale for a start. But is the um, it's a lot of this stuff is going to be uh, a part of me buying the spear helps Okina rebuild rebuild the famous Shuri Castle, which burnt down last year in a really terrible fire. Was it last year? Could have been two years ago. It burnt down in an electrical fire. It's one of the big symbols of Okinawan Island and uh, one of the sort of the castles of the Ryukyus and the different people because Okinawa are technically a different people to the Japanese mainlanders and it had a lot of history and tradition involved with that and that burnt down so to rebuild it Orion breweries are going to give I think it's three yen per can that they sell so I thought geez I've got to do my part better buy a lot of these beers and yeah so the the four one is Sui Shuri, I guess that's that's stretching it a little bit, <laughs> but to be honest, that's it. And it's got a little bit of amber because it's amber. Ale, it's actually got a little bit of honey in it as well. And uh, uh, yeah, uh, interesting. I do like. I have tried it before, and it's got a little bit of the um, sort of the florals and the and the floral taste, and with a, with the shuri raw honey as well. So very interesting. We'll get into that now. Now I won't fill it to the top, but yeah, you can see that colour is very classic. An ale. It's an ale, isn't it? Beautiful, almost red. Red, brownie red colour. Mm, good smell. It's an ale. It's a beautiful ale. Let's stop talking about this. Let's just get into it. <laughs> Ale. Oh yeah. yeah, there's a bit of honey in there. Definitely some floral flavors and tastes coming through, eh? Uh, definitely the smell wise too. It's an ale. It's an amber ale, so it's a little bit heavier than a normal ale, but 5%, that's actually quite heavy for a 5%er. But like these big um, company, big uh, brewery craft series, they generally are quite easy to drink. I guess they're a little bit more filtered than your, your, your usual craft breweries and local craft breweries, so yeah. But I quite like that too. Oh, I'm, easy, I'm easily pleased though. <laughs> well done guys, we made it. We made it through three beers and I'm still not too bad. I'm still not too bad. The other, better than the other, the other one with all the whiskey and the awamori. But I want to do more of these. I still want to do more of these. There's so much craft beer that you can have. There's so many spirits and whiskies and awamoris and rums that you can have just in Okinawa alone. So I'm going to try and get out and uh, show you a bit more of that as well. Um, because if you come, you can enjoy it as well. And, uh, and if you need a bit of help, um, I'm always going to be there for you. Because, like I said, probably going to start something very soon in the near future. So please do keep in touch. Please uh, click that subscribe button because I'll keep information coming about that eventually in the future. So, but yeah, like I said, I want to get out there. I want to show you a few more things as well, as well, of course, add into the training as well. The training is still going on, but I've always liked to throw these ones in as well. Um, but yeah, please, good to have you along. If you've come this far, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up. 
Other than that, I'll see you in the next week for another video. Um, maybe it's alcohol, maybe it's training, maybe it's about rugby. Who knows? That's just what it is around here, so good luck. <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.